going to talk about how you can earn big profits trading in the first half hour of the day. I only trade usually the open. In fact, if I'm not in a trade by 10 o'clock within the first half hour of the open of the day, then I am really not going to take a trade that day. I feel like any stock that I want to take a position in should be set up within that first 30-minute period. And I'm going to talk today about why that time of the day is very critical in order to have the big profit. If anyone has questions, you can just write it in here. Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. Right where I said hi, and I'll go through and answer them as we go. And if anyone has questions, you can also reach out and email me at melissaatthestockswish.com. And you can also call me if you have questions, too, at 929-3200-GAP. And you can follow me in any one of these social media sites as well. So we're going to talk today about trading, basically day trading. That's the focus of today. And, you know, if you are thinking about maybe trading for a living, this strategy has uh, such good moves in the stocks when they set up and go that you could do this for a living. So if you've been trying to look for a strategy that can provide you uh, moves of about a dollar more in a stock, and we'll talk about size positions in a little bit here, then maybe this strategy is for you. When I decided I wanted to teach myself how to trade, I wanted to do it for a living. I was trying to find a new career. But you've got to have stocks that move. And I mean, like I said, 50 cents, a dollar more, $2. And you also need to get the direction right. Otherwise, you can't make any money. A lot of people work hard at trading. I talk to a lot of people. I teach a class on my method, and I've been teaching uh, my class to people for about four years, and I've talked to a lot of people, and a lot of them work hard. They work on their charts, and they go to a lot of webinars, and they read a lot of books, but they never get there. They never get to the point of profitability. A lot of people think they're helping themselves, and yet they're really wasting their time because they're not learning anything that they can turn into actual cash. Ultimately, the reason you are doing this is you want the money. That's ultimately why you are trading. No matter what your goals are, though, to trade, you need a solid strategy in order to achieve them. So if you just want to do this for part-time income, you like the career you have, you still have to have a solid strategy if you want to make money. Because no matter what kind of money you want to make, that's your goal. Whether it's a part-time income or full-time income, your goal is still to be profitable. One nice thing about day trading is that you can work from home. I work from home. And I worked from home in a career before this. And I tell you, it's really, really nice that you can be able to get up in the morning and work from home. You can make your own hours. Day trading is the kind of thing, if you want to take a day off, you can. Market isn't going to be upset if you don't show up tomorrow morning, okay? So it really is part-time hours with full-time pay and the convenience of working for yourself. And that means you also get weekends and evenings off, okay? So for me, the idea of working for myself and working from home and having unlimited income potential is a dream job. And the market really does offer unlimited income potential. Why? Because once you know how to trade, which I do, and I've been trading for eight years, you're, you're the only thing that sets you apart from making a certain amount of money to the next amount of money, which would be a larger amount of money, is your share size. Or you could take more trades. So in other words, let's say you're making $500 a day trading. How would you increase that? You could do more trading or you could take more size. And what I've done over the, my career is increase my size. I typically do not like to take more trades. I usually do one trade a day, two at the most, but usually one. But this is how I view trading, okay? It's one of the reasons I'm successful. And I think that nothing in life that is great comes without taking chances or risk. Part of the risk is not just the money that you're risking when you take the trade. Part of the risk is even deciding that you want to do this in the first place. Because it is energy and it is effort to take out of your life to learn how to trade. It costs you money to do a class like mine or anyone else's. And then, of course, you have to open up a trading account. And that means you have to deposit money at a broker. So all of these things involve taking chances or risk. But nothing that is great, like having a nice job where you're only working for a short amount of time each day with unlimited income potential, nothing like that, okay, comes without taking chances. 
So I think this is something that everybody kind of has to decide where they're at with their life. If you are really at a point where you're tired of your career and you want to switch doing something, you might be ready to take a chance or ready to take a risk. And this is kind of where I was eight years ago when I decided to do it. So let's talk about what I do, okay? This was uh, a stock. The stock is SKX, and this was a gap that happened on the daily chart of this stock symbol. Now, what I do is I get up in the morning, and before the open, I look for stocks that I want to first short, okay? I like to focus on the short side. But I'm looking for stocks that are gapping down. And then what I do is predict with my own system if the stock that's gapping is going to continue following through on the live day and sell off. So SKX closed the night before at 4 o'clock here. And here's where it opened. All right. So in the morning, I'm predicting with my own system, which I'm going to talk about in a little bit, that this would sell off, meaning that the price would continue down in this stock. If you know that the price of a stock is going to go down before it happens, as a day trader, you can short it and you will make money then as the stock sells off. And that's what happened here with this. So how do I take my entries? I trade and take entries on the one-minute chart, and I do it between 9.30 and 10. So the interesting thing is, as I was talking about, this first half an hour is very important because hedge funds and institutions and professional traders take positions on and off in this period in the morning. You will very often see what's called the lunchtime doldrums between anywhere it could start around 11 usually around 12 to 1.30-ish, 2 o'clock, where sometimes stocks reverse or go sideways. That's because people are going to lunch and the professional traders aren't at their desk. In the morning, everyone is ripe and ready to go, and they are, have determined that they're either going to sell a position at SKX on the day or buy it, okay? So what I'm doing is looking to predict the direction that this stock will make before the open. And then once it opens, I don't take the position until after it opens, but once it opens, I wait for it to set up and then I take the position short. So this was a nice drop. Now, this is what I call the money move. It's a move that comes in very quickly in several minutes, meaning that you take the trade, which I took it up here, and you just are up as soon as you take it. I also put in stop, okay? I'm up as soon as I take it, and it just goes right in my direction. And in this case of a short, it sold off right in my direction immediately. So I'm predicting this before 9.30, which is this line here depicts the 9.30 start to the day. Anyways, here's the sell-off. So if you're shorting selling action, you will, you will make money if you get it right. If you bought this in here, if you went long SKX, you lost money. And actually, look, you would have lost it all no matter where you did it on the day because the bar closed solid red. It didn't retrace at all. So how do I make money as a trader? How can you make money as a trader? You're, you have to predict that SKX will drop. And then when it opens on a one-minute chart, you will take the position. And you were looking for this money move to happen. Now, there are hundreds and thousands of stocks on the market in the NASDAQ and New York Stock Exchange. There's two stock exchanges I'm looking at each morning. But it's the idea of just getting one move like this. That's all that you need. And if you can find that, and again, this is, you know, three minutes into the open. But this is what I'm going to doing. Anyways, if you can find that, you just play this move and that's all you have to play. Actually, you could have been in this for longer. I just did this quick morning one. But sometimes you can trade them out for a longer period of time. So I'm going to go over three different levels here because we have different people here. Everybody has a different amount of money that they can afford to risk. I want to say that it does not matter how much money that you have to trade. You can be profitable even with a small account. Someone emailed me the other day, I don't have enough money to do this. And they told me the amount of money that they had in their account. But they did. They had money, and they had a live account. There is no set amount that you have to have to do this. If you have $50 to risk, you can take the trade. Then you risk $50. You don't have to be risking advanced amounts. 
When I say big profits, I mean based on the amount of money you're risking and what you can even make. So for example here, $225 is a risk for a beginner if you take 500 shares of this trade. And if you shorted it, got the drop and got out, you would have made 210 bucks. Now, if you would have held the trade down, it did drop a dollar. You would have had to hold it more than a half an hour. Again, I like to play only this period. But if you held it out all the way down, you would have made $500, risking only 225. Either way, it's a good trade because you made $210 here if you got took this here and got out here in several minutes, and then your day was done. So this is very nice comparatively for the amount of money that you're risking. So you don't need to be risking thousands of dollars, but the idea is as you get better, and as time goes on, you get to that point where you move past the beginner level. Does anyone have any questions about this so far? Anything I'm talking about? We're just looking at SKX right now, and, and we're on this chart here, the one minute chart, because this is how I'm taking the entry. A lot of traders wait until after 10 o'clock to take a trade because they want to see what the trend is for the stock on the day. But I don't do that. I'm predicting before this even happens with a very high accuracy rate that this would happen. So that's how I'm getting this move. Okay? And like I said, you could play it longer if you want to. All right, we'll keep going. I'll, I'll look for questions. Now, if you wanted to do an intermediate risk, which would be what? You bump it up about 450 bucks. You would have taken 1,000 shares. This is perfectly reasonable. 1,000 shares of the stock, you would have shorted. Same entry point, same exit if you want to get in and get out quick. You could have made 420 bucks. $400 a day is a good amount. That is a good amount of money, okay? Many, many traders are actually losing so to be able to be profitable or you're making $400 a day, this is not an advanced level, it's intermediate, okay? Intermediate level here of the risk amount. And again, if you would have held it all the way, you would have made $1,000. Why? The stock dropped a buck. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I'm typically looking for something that will drop a minimum of a dollar a day. It doesn't mean it always will by 10. So it's up to me to decide if I'm getting out or going to hold it. If it doesn't, hasn't dropped the buck by 10, if I want to hold it past 10. But sometimes, and I talked about this on a previous webinar, sometimes the, e the fastest money is the easiest. Because you know you have it, and you're in, and you're out, and you're up. And that's one of the things I really like about what I do. I really love playing this morning time because I know I'm going to get a fast move, and I know I'm going to get a quick move, and I know if I want to get out of something with profit, whatever the profit is, whether it goes to the target or not, I know I can get out and I'm up. And I also know, conversely, if the stock isn't setting up right. In other words, let's just go back. This big chart here. Sometimes I look at a gap before the open. I will predict that it's going to move in a certain direction. But guess what? It never, the entry never presents itself. And I don't ever even do a trade in it. That happens too. Okay, I, that's one of the reasons I don't train the pre-market because I don't know until the stock opens if it's going to set up or not, and that's very important too. So getting back to this here, the last highest level is what? Advanced. After trading for a while, and if your account can support it, you can risk $1,000 or more in a trade, which you certainly can in many of the stocks I trade because they all have volume. So if you would have taken 3,000 shares of SKX and risked 1350, you could have made $1,260. This is a really good amount of money to make in this time period. You're literally in the trade here and you're out of it in about 15 minutes. So if you can make like a thousand bucks a couple of times a week in 10, 15 minutes, this is all that you need. I, I just always think it's so interesting when people talk about how they trade until 4 o'clock. That would be exhausting to me. I just want to get the money move that happens right into the open, and I'm playing it in the right direction with wherever the institutions are doing, whether they're buying it or selling it, and I am out. And I am left at risk by doing that. I'm left at risk by being in trades by less time. The less time I'm in a trade, the less I'm at risk. 
I mean, that is just common sense. So that's one of the reasons why I'm perfectly capable of risking an advanced risk because I know I'm going to be in and out quick as well. Okay. So you could have made a thousand two hundred sixty bucks in this trade if you weren't in and out with three thousand shares. So ultimately, what I do myself is day trade, and I started to do options too. That's not what this webinar is about, but you can use my system really to do any type of trading, swing trading, option trading, or day trading, because it's using looking at the gap. And I'm predicting what the gap in the stock is going to do. But I will tell you the, the most fabulous thing about day trading is that when you take a day trade and you've got the money, you know where you're at by 4 o'clock, you're flat every day by 4, and you know what money you have, and it's yours. And then you can take it out of your account if you want to right away. So that's the really nice thing about having this as a career as well, whereas if you have any other job, you have to wait till you get paid, wait till the paycheck comes, wait till you get the commission or whatever it is. Anyway, success in the market is really about mastering a skill, which is exactly what I have done. What skill have I mastered? I've mastered predicting the direction a stock will go that's gapping. That is the skill that I have mastered after eight years of trading personally, and that is the skill that I am now teaching people. And that is how you make large, consistent profits. And actually, it is how you make profits, period. Uh, I think a lot of people have issues with their trading because they are doing reversal. They are incorrectly reading the direction in a chart. Um, they are scalping in the opposite direction very often for pennies, mind you, as well. And, and I would find that very frustrating if you were back and forth, back and forth your results. This is what, this is what often gets people frustrated, as I was saying earlier, people work really hard. They work so hard to try to get these things and understand charts. And a lot of people do understand a chart. They can read support. They can read resistance. They can read trend lines. They can read that stuff. And then they, but they're not profitable. And they don't understand why. But the, the, very often it is because of the fact they don't have a strategy. Simply buying support and shorting resistance is not a strategy. And in fact, it's, it's been very choppy for people in this type of market. If you look at the overall market, the market ETF, in the last month or so, maybe two months even look back, it's been choppy for traders unless you do something that has nothing to do with the market or you are reading the market in the way that I'm reading it, which is actually that it is higher. So what I do is looking for, I'm looking for a big move in a stock in that first 30 minutes of the day in a gap. But not all gaps are playable. In other words, every stock that gaps down, you cannot short, and every stock that gaps up, you cannot go long. Okay? So there are thousands of things that gap in a day, but you can't trade them all. So I've developed a method, a method to find what ones are playable. Like I said earlier, you only need one. And I call that method golden gap because it is like finding gold in the market for me when I find one that is really good that I can play. So I developed my own system. It's called the golden gap system. The golden gap is a rating system that looks at 26 points on the daily chart of a stock. The rating system is a checklist. One, two, three, four, five, six is a checklist. The checklist tells you what to look for in the price of the stock, whether to go long or short it. The points predict price direction correctly when a stock is gapping. And that is how you make money. And not only that, that is how you get the big moves very quickly, and that's how you get the consistency. Because the points are telling you where the money is going to go, where it is flowing. And why does this matter? Because you have to know what direction to take the trade. Otherwise, how are you going to make any money? You won't, you won't make money if you're in something that's dropping in price and you're in it long and, and vice versa, Okay. So golden gaps have 80% of the move in the first 30 minutes of the day. This is another important factor. I'm pinpointing that institutional flush, whatever you want to call it. The flush could happen up or it could happen down in a sell-off. And I call this the money move. You, you just play that move each day and you're done. Some days it's 50 cents. Some days it's a dollar. Some days it's a dollar 25. Some days it's two bucks. Some days it's 75 cents. You never know. Okay, this is a market. Stocks move. There are a lot of things that happen and move. But you have the right direction, the right entry. You put in a stop. You have the time frame that you are looking to get in. You have the time frame you're looking to get out. And that's it. That's all that you do. 
And ultimately, it really doesn't even matter if it goes to the full-on target. For me, all that matters is that I'm profitable, okay? Any questions so far where we're going? This is a cute picture. Paul put this in. Big, I don't have any cats, by the way, but it's a cute picture. Big profits come in these money moves. And again, like I said, they happen right into that open period. Success and large profits come from quality, not from doing multiple plays and all kinds of different strategies and quantity. The more plays you have, the more potential you have for the losses. If you're in five positions, what if they all go bunk? Okay, then you have five losses on the deck. So it's it's I don't play the odds where I'm trying to take five different trains, hoping that more than 50% will work. I'm looking at one and I'm saying this is a very quality trade. This is a high odds that it's going to go in my direction. I'm going to take this train with 100% conviction. I'm going to do it because it's quality and it either works or it doesn't. And then if it doesn't, I only have one loss. Okay, you understand? So, as I was saying, I use a checklist. It's called the Golden Gap 26-point checklist. I use it to trade each morning. And I like to focus on the shorts. This is personal preference because short moves happen quick and fast, way faster than bullish moves and in stocks. This is just the way that it is. So, if you're a day trader and you like to trade fast in and out, shorting is the way to go. So the purpose of my system is to help you evaluate which gap to trade each morning using the checklist. And like I said, I like to look for the short. I'm trying to find stocks to trade each day that have a very high probability of directional bias for the entire day, meaning that if you wanted to do a second trade in the same stock or trade it all down to a bigger target, you could. I don't always do that, but some people in the trading room do. I'm looking for big moves on the day. And I'm looking for early confirmation of my bias and the move between 9.30 and 10 a.m. So I, I've got to get that entry. I've got to get that entry right away. I've got to get it before it sells off if I'm shorting it. I'm looking for very precise entry. And I want the follow through and the good risk to reward. And risk to reward means it's worth me taking the trade. If I risk, let's say if I risk a dollar, it's not a good trade to me if I risk $1 and I only make 25 cents. If I risk a dollar and I make a dollar, that's good. If I risk a dollar and I make $2, that's better. If I risk a dollar and I make $3, that's great. Okay. And that's how I look at my position sizing and my trade. Any questions so far as we go along? Quiet group tonight here. So as I was saying, for those of you that, that uh, don't know what I mean by institutional money, that's what I'm really looking for for the follow through in the gap. It's hedge funds and professional traders and banks that have, you know, positions in the market. So when I'm looking for that, I'm predicting that those institutions are going to do something in the stock on the live day, okay? And it's called a professional gap. It's called a professional gap that I'm looking for because professionals are making those gaps, and then tending to follow them through. So one of the reasons, as I was saying earlier, that I am successful and my students are successful is because of the 26 points really does predict that institutional positioning. That's how I'm able to read it and predict it. Uh, for those of you that are not subscribed to my YouTube site, you can, you can go and subscribe on YouTube. Paul or Kathy can put in the link. But I have accurately predicted the market to continually make brand new all-time highs, and so many people now are bearish on the market. I, I noticed that the market gapped down today. I did not trade today. But I noticed that the market gapped down today, and I was very interested to see after 4 o'clock what the market did. Well, we rallied on a gap down, and we held. The, I am so bullish on the market, and so many people are bearish and, you know, it's funny because, as I said, I've traded for eight years and I'm on online trader centrals list, like where I'm presenting right now. So I get all the emails and I get all the emails from other places that are that are talking about the market to crash and everyone's bearish in this. And every every time I get an email that I that I that the people are saying the market's bearish from some other company or some other educational place predicting the market to fall or that we've made the top, I, I almost it almost gives me more conviction in my bias to the upside. Which, which, which is hilarious. That's not why I'm reading it that way. But very often, 
what many people think is going to happen does not turn out to be true. And this is where it screws up people's heads. And we're going to talk about this a little bit later towards the end here. We're going to talk about how your mind plays tricks on you with your trading. But I really focus on the chart and what I know. And so I don't allow those other things to get in my head. When I read that every single person out there is bearish in the market and I'm bullish, I don't let it affect me. It's one of the things that I do very well. But I'm telling you, if you want to make money, you've got to be with where these institutions are. I'm telling you, they're buying the market. They bought the market today, but the market would never have held. The market broke the low today from Friday in both the QQQs and the SPY and got bought. You may not think it got bought, but it got bought because it gapped down, fell, couldn't go anywhere. And that is institutional money that's supporting the market with money that is buying it. It, it, it was a very bullish action that the market had today. No one may see it that way but me. If we have time tonight, we'll look at the charts. I'm telling you it was. Uh, Roadrunner is saying, does your system work well for trading in many futures markets? Paul can write the answer in there because Paul trains the futures. I don't trade futures. But I know that anything that gaps, you can utilize my system for. So in other words, you would look at the market. Paul, are you there that you can write in the room more specifically for Roadrunner? I think, I think Paul can answer that better. But what I do is I have a formula to rate and qualify the gap. That's what I do. It gives me the confirmation and the conviction that the large institutional money is on my side and I'll play it. In other words, I could have rated the market gap down today. I could have rated it with my system to determine if it was a short because the gap down, it would not have rated well and I wouldn't have shorted. Now, it doesn't mean I wouldn't have bought it, but you almost could have, okay? Gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency in a stock chart, in a daily chart. And an action that is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. Trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of power. And that's where you want to be. That's where you want to be. That's the only way you can make any money. You can't make money if you're against these players. You will lose. You may make money some of the time, but you will not make money all of the time or most of the time if you're against big money. You will make money most of the time or all of the time if you are with institutional money. That's the best way I can possibly describe it. If you are against these people in the market, ultimately you will lose. Some days you may make money, but by the end of the calendar year, or the end of the week, or the end of the month, you will be refunding your account. You cannot make it. You will not have longevity if you do not know how to read the side of power. Okay? This is... One of the number one reasons for my own success is because I'm able to predict this. So what does it? As I was saying, the Golden Gap System, which is what I named my system, is to analyze a large time frame to make the trend decision on the directional bias for the gap. So that's the prediction part of it. All large traders of every kind look at large time frames to make decisions, and that's why I'm looking at the daily chart. I'm taking the entries in the one minute because i got to be in and out fast because I'm a day trader. But I'm looking at the daily to determine what I want to do. And that's what institutional traders do, by the way. So I'm looking also to make entry decisions and exit decisions based on a small time frame, which is the one minute chart, and that has a high degree also of accuracy. So I can get in and I can get out, in and out in minutes or seconds. And then I'm using the daily chart to make the decision for the stock pick, which allows for accuracy in the direction. I'm also using the one-minute chart, which allows for good risk-to-reward trades with accuracy. So if you have been looking for a strategy and you don't have one, a day trading strategy or a strategy for options, because I do use the strategy for options too, then you can use my system for that. Maybe my system is the, is the thing for you. If you are losing money in the market, Maybe you don't have a strategy that works, or maybe you don't have one at all. I will tell you that trading is fun because I make money. It is not fun to lose money. It might be fun to press the buttons like it's Ms. Pac-Man or a computer game, but ultimately it is not fun if you lose, okay? It is very exciting. It is exciting to me when I make a prediction and it works out to be true, even if I'm not in the trade. Like looking at the market today, I'm in, I'm in no options in the market. I'm in no swing positions in the market. I'm not in the market at all. The QQQs are the spy. I don't have any positions right now in the market. But I will tell you that it's exciting to be able to have predicted it well, okay? And people that are with me are making money on those predictions. 
So how do you know if you have a system that works if you're profitable? If you're not profitable, your system probably doesn't work. A lot of people say, well, I'm not profitable, Melissa, because I'm, I'm just not disciplined. Yes, but that, that can be true for some people. Some people are not disciplined traders, and some people need a, more guidance than others for some things. And again, we're going to talk about that in the end about your mind. But I find that even, even the worst disciplined person in the, on the planet would make money with a system that was good. Okay. You know, just let me read here what Paul was saying. Roadrunner had asked, let me just repeat this for everybody. Roadrunner had asked, does the system work well for E-mini futures market? Paul answered and he said, you need a gap. He's saying futures don't really gap, but you can look at the market and evaluate the gap in the market. And if it raises, the market does some days, you can trade it any way you want with the futures. Okay, that was a good answer. Thank you, Paul. Anyways, what I wanted to say is that you can be successful trading. It's just that you have to have a dependable method. The central structure to trading results has to be the strategy. That's the solid foundation. You can build whatever discipline you want around that. Whether you have a crappy discipline or a good discipline, you build it around that once you have a solid foundation. And I find that once you have a foundation, you will be able to help your negative attitude. If you have a negative attitude right now about money or trading because you've had losses or you've taken classes and lost money in the class because you didn't learn anything that helped you make money in the market, you will not you'll get over that once you learn something that works. And you will work on that mental patterning. You can get past that. But ultimately, it is about reading and predicting where something's going to go in the price action. And you can it's technical analysis, and that's really what I'm doing. It's advanced technical analysis, but it's advanced technical analysis in gap. It's a specific gap that I'm looking for that allows me to do it. It's hard to believe, but we are almost we are at the end of the calendar year almost. There's only less than three months left to 2016. And so it's a good time to learn this because it's fourth quarter earnings season, which starts actually this week. And there will be lots and lots of gaps. So you can still teach yourself how to trade yet this year. And I think the people that are willing to learn at the end of this period, which is a busy season right now to trade in the fall, will be putting themselves in the best position for 2017. Because you want to go into next year already in the groove of it, already knowing how to do it, already past the beginner stage, maybe into the intermediate stage, maybe even into the advanced stage. You know, learning in October, you've still got three months left. I'm looking for a, uh, a quality, quality gap every day in my strategy. I'm looking for good risk to reward in the trade for the target. I'm looking for a good entry. I'm taking sides of my trade. That's how I'm getting the big profit in the move, whether it's 50 cents, 75 cents a buck or more. And then obviously, I'm looking to get out. And I'm looking to get out quick on the day. But being successful really takes the detail and the focus and the precision. And also, really, I just don't really do more than one trade a day. Like I said, sometimes I do too, but it's just rare. And you can't, how could you possibly have umpteen losses if you're only doing one trade a day? And then, obviously, you could take more risk to take the bigger sizes. So it's about training your eyes. You want to see it. If you see it and you have conviction it's going to go there, you're able to take the risk, whether it's $1,000 or $500 or $300, bucks. like I said, whatever you can afford. Without a good strategy, you will never make a dime in the market. Uh, you'll, just, you'll never get there. And you can try a million different things, but you'll never find the profit. You'll never find the money. Some days, like I said, you may make money, but without a good strategy, you really won't ultimately make money in the end. Now, I wanted to talk about this because a lot of people say, Melissa, how much money do I need to do this? What do I need? Well, you need a trading account if you're going to trade live. If you open up a proprietary day trading account with, for example, $5,000, you can get 10 to 1 leverage at most places, which would be about 50000 in buying power. My class is $5,000, which I'll talk about at the end. You would need the money for my class if you want to learn this. You can trade in the live trading room with me and take the trades as I'm doing them live each week. And people always ask, what kind of special software do I need? Well, many different brokers offer different softwares. You need a live level two with active charts. So you can look at the day chart and you can look at the one minute chart. 
Some offer free software, depending on the number of trades you do each month, and some may cost, you know, 200, 250 bucks. Also, people ask me if you need a special scanner. No, you do not. Usually your platform, your software, your platform will come with a free scanner. And if you're in the trading room with me, I give you the picks of the gaps that we're doing. And there's a lot of different free sites. So you don't need to spend any extra money on scanners. So really it's the cost of the class, which is $5,000 of $49.99, and then money for an account, okay? I think you can open up prop accounts with as little as $2,500, then your buying power would be $25,000. It depends where you want to go. But there are so many different places out there to trade. The number one thing that's important is learning how to do it. After you learn how to do it, then you can take the risk. Because especially if you have a, uh, an account with five grand, you want to make sure that you know what you're doing. You want to build on that account. You want to take that 5000 and turn it into 10000 the first month. You don't want to take that 5000 and lose it. So how, again, do you become successful? You must focus. For me, the focus is in that first 30 minutes. Why? I'm looking for institutions to buy or sell the stock I'm looking at. I'm looking at stocks that are only gapping. That's all that I do. The gap allows me to predict if I should go long or short it. I do it before the open, and I use my 26 points in order to do it. People also ask me, Melissa, how many gaps do you get a week? Well, in non-earnings season, three to five a week. In earnings season, there could be five a day. I mean, there's, there's probably going to be a lot this week. A quality, even next week, I think, is really a big week. A quality gap is one that rates high enough to trade based on the 26 points. If it doesn't rate for my system, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. So there might be days you get up and I don't, I don't trade because nothing meets my criteria. That's another important part of it. Another thing that sometimes people just don't realize. So I wanted to go over another trade here, SWHC. This actually was last Monday when Paul ran the room. Again, shorts happen so fast, happen so quickly. What happened in this stock symbol? Again, a gap or nobody will be looking at this that trains with me. The stock closed here and gapped down. Closed here at this price, open here at 930. So I'm predicting what this is going to do before it does it. If you can predict it, you know that you can take the trade. And in this case, it was a short. So you have a nice sell-off bar here, rally, boom. You could have shorted it right here, and but immediately out. This is very similar, though, look, to the other one, SKX, where it actually went longer, farther, later in the day. Again, you know, I like to be in and out in this 10 o'clock period, but here's another good example of what? Big fella. Look at that. So, again, the key is just getting the money move. This, this, you take the trade as soon as you take it, you're up, and you, and you just... You just get out. In this case here, you could have taken it, and you actually, through the rally, you could have put the stop at break even. I don't usually do this, but you could have. Put it there, and then let it roll over if you wanted to try to hold it. You could have lowered the stop to break even. Now, if you're a beginner, and you risk $250, how much could you have made in this? 500 bucks. A thousand shares would have made you 500 bucks. This is a good amount of money. This is a big profit for someone only taking a thousand shares of something. This is real money. Again, five hundred dollars a day is what twenty five hundred dollars a week. That's ten grand a month. Some people are not making anywhere near ten thousand dollars a month trading, or even in their job. And this is only several minutes. It's because of the precision to get that sell off, to get that sell off right when it comes in. To get the entry as soon as it comes in, but you have to be watching it. If you're not watching SWHC, guess what? You're not going to get it. You won't get it. If you don't react and take it and know to launch it and have it predicted before 930, you'll never get this. Okay. You'll be, you'll be looking and scanning and trying to find something to do and up until 10, 10, 15, 10, 30. And you'll miss 80% of the move of the sell off. You'll miss the, the institutional sell off, which is really here. In this case here, they did continue it down, but this is the big, Quick, fast, pillow. Okay. Now, intermediate risk on this, again, around 400 bucks, so $375, share size 1500 total profit, what? 
$750. This is a good amount of money. If you make $150 a day, that's $37.50 a week. Again, it starts to add up. Day trading, it's great sometimes when you get a really big trade and it goes and it just kind of just collapses into itself in the five, 10 minutes, it just collapses, it moves like $2 right away or opens and squishes or something. That's great when it happens. We don't get that every day. But you chunk out a week, you chunk out a month by doing trades and just getting the move and getting out. And you must take the money out. So you have to get it and get out. And it really adds up. You might think, oh, you know, five, six hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, four hundred dollars. So what? It adds up by the end of the week. It adds up by the end of the month. All you have to do is not have that many losing days and it starts to really add up. And that's how you're putting together the money, the real money. Now, what if you're an advanced level risk? A thousand bucks or thereabouts for an advance is anything over a thousand. Share size, 4,000 shares, two grand. And this is only this move. You could have actually made $4,000 in this if you'd held it all the way down. It moved a dollar. So, again, I, I like to trade this morning period, but very often these stocks do move a buck or more. The time, you just never know. You get the move in the morning. You don't know if you get the whole move, though, but you definitely get the profitable move. And again, that's all that matters. So this is this is a, a lot of money to me to make very quickly. For the amount of work that you're doing, it's the pre-work. The pre-work is what? The, the prep in the morning, about 30 minutes of rating gaps, figuring out the ones that are good, scanning, and you're ready to go. You could take an hour if you want, but it's really still a lot of money for a very short time that you'd be working. It's not like you're clocking in and going to the office and have to commute back and forth from work and still work eight, 10 hours a day. So, you know, it is a, it is a good amount of money for the effort that you're putting into it to be able to work from home. But ultimately, it's really about getting the direction. It's the direction, it's the direction, it's the direction. That's how I'm able to make the predictions. I see it ahead of time in the gap with the 26 points. And also, you have to you have to get out when you're up. I mean, it's just one of these things where if it's never over the fat lady things, I say, but, you know, this idea of stopping when you're up is important. And it also is the idea where you are up and you get out. Whether you get out of half of it or the whole thing is up to you, but you have to get out of something. You must have a business plan. And really, my class is like a training plan for many people that come to me. People that come to me, they say, I don't have a strategy. I don't have a plan of action. I don't have a trading plan. My class really is that for many, many people. It, it teaches you the strategy. You learn the 26 points. It teaches you the targets. It teaches you the entries. It's a trading plan. It's everything that you need. All you have to decide is how much money you are able to risk based on the size of your account. So you're, you're looking for trades with real results, and I'm looking for one to three. That's the realistic goal every day. Some days, and particularly in earnings season, we get four to six and eight to ten in the high end. Now, what does this mean? It means for every dollar that you risk, your goal should be a minimum of three bucks. That's what you're looking for every day. Now, whether you want to hold it to that path gets that point is up to you. But that's the potential. So when I'm reading the gap and I'm reading the gap, I'm saying, oh, this is the potential for where this thing could actually go. And then that's what excites me about taking the trade and I get into it. Any questions so far from anyone? How's everyone doing? I had some good questions earlier. I, you know, everybody here is, has different goals. Some people are, you know, want to do this just because their traders are ready and they don't have the system that works. And some people you know, are tired of a job and are looking for something different. Uh, you definitely have to take trading seriously, no matter what your objective is. You really want to do this and you really want to make money. I don't care if you're doing it for part-time or full-time, you've got to take it seriously. I think it's very important for you to take anything seriously you do when you risk money or when you spend money, like something even on my class. But, you know, very often people think that they are trapped or they feel trapped in their job. The fact is you're not trapped. You can make your own separate choices. You can work for yourself. You can work for yourself in the market. And if you're your own boss, 
You must take it seriously as if you're reporting to yourself every day for your own actions, whether you take good actions with your trades or bad actions with your trades. You are responsible. You can create the opportunity for yourself by learning something new. It, it, it takes learning something new, learning to back out, taking my class, taking a chance, taking risks. You can't change your life by not taking chances or risks. And it's not just about doing the work and, and studying charts. It has a whole lot more to do with many, many other things. It's understanding it. It's the emotional work, the mental work that often goes with it. Okay. So earlier, a little, I talked about this a little bit, and I wanted to bring this up tonight because I, I just have seen to talk to so many people lately that I thought I'd bring this up in another webinar. You know, your mind responds to your thoughts whether you know it or not. So in other words, if you think a certain thing in your mind, if you have a belief system or a belief in your mind about something, that XYZ is true. In other words, let's say you believe that most people lose money in the market and therefore you are most people and you will lose. If you believe that, guess what? You probably will lose money in the market. So how would you change something like that around? What would you do? You would say, Yes, it may be true that, you know, maybe the statistics are that most people lose money in the market. However, I am not most people. I am, I am very unusual. I am special. And I'm going to beat the odds. And I'm going to be successful. And I'm going to be one of the few people that make money because I'm not part of the crowd. Okay. So there's, there's something that you could use to shift your mind to turn it around if you have some negative conditioning. You know, it's, it's very important to believe that you can be successful at this if you're going to do it. If you spend the $5,000 for my class, it's very important that you believe that you will be able to make way more than $5,000 in the market, which, by the way, people that are trading with me are. So, you know, you... You, you, you have to believe that it's possible. And despite whatever past experiences you have or negative conditioning that you have at the moment, you have to believe that you are different, that your mind, you can, you can turn your mind around, I guess. So what I'm saying here, and the point is that your mind responds to your thoughts, whether they are negative thoughts or positive thoughts. So you could have been gone all last year and lost money and had negative thoughts about things. You don't have to continue in the future like that. You can start to turn those thoughts around immediately right now. Today, start tonight, start tomorrow with whatever trade that you take in the market. If you're a trader, you can start to change those thoughts right away tomorrow. It doesn't mean they're all going to take effect immediately, but you can start. You have to start somewhere if you're going to turn it all around. So as I was saying, I teach a class. My class is called the Golden Gap Course. This is the only strategy that I personally trade. I use it for options and I use it for day trading. And really the amount of money that you can make in the market has only to do with how much you're willing to risk. But you can't risk more than you can afford. You have to be thoughtful and you have to be responsible with your risk and your account. But I'm looking at the 26 points and how you can make thousands of dollars in one trade it really is with the share size. So here's a nice little chart that Paul did. For example, if you have 1,000 shares and the stock was 50 cents, that's what? $500. If you have 2,500 shares and the stock was 50 cents, it's what? $1,250. And if you get to the point where you have advanced risk and you're taking three, four, five thousand shares, you can make three, four, five thousand dollars in one trade. I mean, I have done it, and there are people with me that are doing it. So you've got to say, you know what my goal is to get to this point where, of course, and, you know, this is, this is really a good amount of money to be making in one trade, particularly if it happens in 10, 15 minutes. I mean, again, you're looking for that entry and the move to happen between 9.30 and 10. No matter what share size you take, the strategy is the same. The stock is the same, the entry is the same, the stock's the same, the only difference is your share size. 
which does determine how much money you make. So the goal is starting with what you can afford and having, you know, a mindset, well, in one month, I'll be here. In three months, I'll be here. In six months, I'll be at this point. I'll be making this much money. If you're trying to transition from one career to becoming a full-time trader, you have to have a goal and say, well, I'm going to do this much size until I learn it. And then once I prove to myself I've learned it and I'm profitable for eight weeks, then I'm going to increase my risk or whatever the case may be. Okay. But it is really important that you learn how to trade before risking money. Don't just throw money into trains just, you know, without knowing what you're doing. One of the things that I think is very unique is I believe that people really need to learn before they do it. I really believe in teaching people how to trade. If, if someone had taught me how to trade correctly before I had risked my own money, I would not have suffered as much as I did financially eight years ago. So my advice to people is you really have to learn first. I'd rather see people spend $5,000 for the class and trade in a demo until they can get the money together for, for an account rather than take an account and start trading the market. And yet that is not what people do. That's not what they do at all because people are so over anxious and they want to trade and they think that they will just start to make money and as they make money, then they'll take my class. But it never happens that way. It, it never works that way. If I could go back in time and redo everything from day one at the beginning, I would have learned more before I trained it. There wasn't anyone out there that taught gaps the way that I do it. So I probably was meant to, to teach myself my own system, but I did risk my own hard-earned money and lost it at the beginning. And that does affect your attitude. So I don't want to see people go through that. You know, I don't, I don't want to see people suffer and go through that process for as much as least as possible. But if you're ready and want to be successful as a trader, you can learn what I know. And, and I'm, I teach people. I teach people. You trade with me. And I'm your greatest chance of success for learning how to do this because I'm very accurate at predicting where stock is going to go in a gap. So if you've been thinking about trading, you can do it. You can learn from me. Again, I teach you everything I know. It's not like I hold anything back. Again, we're getting into the end of the calendar year, and it's good to start thinking about goals for 2017. If you are not where you want to be financially for this year, you've got three months left to make up the ground, but you don't have a lot of time. So you've got to take action and decide, is this where I want to be next year or do I want to be in a better place? But really the key to my system is in the 26 points. This is how I'm able to predict the move stock makes so accurately, and that includes the market. Does anyone have any questions here as we're getting into the, the end of the webinar? Let me know. So my system focuses just on one strategy. You do not need a general overall broad-based view to make money in the market. Tons of people have that. They fail all the time, okay? You have to have the focus on one thing. I'm looking for institutional money, and that's how I'm reading it. Where is it going to come in in the gap, okay? So my class is 9 to 5 this coming Saturday and Sunday, October 8th and 9th. Again, it's earnings season. Good time to make money for the holidays. Good time because there's tons and tons of gas. The class, as I said, is $49.99. Retakes are free. So if you sign up for the class, you can retake it anytime in the future for free. And you can email me if you're interested to sign up. The information to register is not on the website. You have to email me for the information at melissathestockswish.com. Does anyone have any questions about anything so far? If you'd like a trial to the training room, you can email me. As well, I can send you a trial for this week prior to the class. You could be in the room. Anyone have any questions? We do have a couple of minutes here. How's everyone doing? Where's Kathy working on her birthday? <laughs> what a trooper. Well, Feel free to email me if you think of something later. If you have questions, want a trial, if you're interested in the class this weekend, again, it's just a good busy time to, to actually trade. I, I don't know what was out tonight. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see what we get tomorrow. I know that the earnings season start, started this week. Maybe AA was tonight. It's usually the start of earnings season. Listen, take care of yourself, everyone. Be careful when you're trading. Think about the things that I said tonight, okay? 
Go to my YouTube, subscribe there, watch some of the videos. If you're interested in more information, you can just email me here. And I appreciate everyone coming. Okay, great.